So the big picture for this lesson is the quadratic formula. Here it is. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This can be used to solve any quadratic equation. So let's give it a go, shall we? I'll just make one up. Hopefully it won't be too weird of an answer. Okay, so remember this is a, b, and c, the coefficients, and you need to keep in mind whether it's positive or negative. So the b is 8. We'll start with that. x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root. It'll be 8 squared minus 4 times 2, which is a, times negative 4, which is c, all divided by 2 times a, which is also 2. Now we need to simplify. Start by working inside the radical. And what I like to do is just kind of write it separately. That way you're not recopying the whole thing every time. So I'm just going to put square root of an 8 squared is 64. I know this. Minus, see, 4 times 2 is 8. Actually, let's just keep it negative 8 because of the minus 4. And then times negative 4, that is 32. So it's going to be 64 plus 32. And 64 plus 32 is 96. Okay, so this square root's 96. So x equals negative 8 plus or minus square root of 96 all over 4. So next thing, because we want an exact answer, is to simplify 96. I'm going to factor it. 2, 48. It's 3 and 16, I know that, and 16 is 4 times 4. So this is going to be 4 times 4 times 6. So the square root of 4 times 4 times 6, you can take out a pair of 4s because the square root of 16 is 4, and it's 4 square root 6. So that is simplified all the way. Negative 8 plus or minus 4 square roots of 6 all over 4. This is actually the trickiest part, is simplifying this fraction. What I like to do is I like to just split it up here. So x equals negative 8 over 4 plus or minus 4 square roots of 6 over 4. This makes it much, much easier because negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2 plus or minus, and the 4s here cancel out. So it's times 4 divided by 4, and then just square root of 6. So x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of 6. Those are your two solutions for that quadratic equation. And there are other variations of this. Sometimes you get a perfect square in there, so you get integer answers, or you get fraction answers. Sometimes you end up with the square root of a negative number, which means you have two imaginary solutions.